Hey guys, Adam Trigger here, wagertalk.com. And we're already at week 17 of the NFL regular season, just two weeks to go. A great special over at Wager Talk for the rest of the NFL season, which is right on my page. Uh, but we also have another really good special using coupon code HOLIDAY7. That gets you seven days of all sports for just $69. Both of those over at wagertalk.com. So check out my page, wt.buzz slash at to take advantage of both of those specials. But right now we're going to talk about Bears Falcons and a free play for this week in the NFL. Listen, the Bears continue to improve. I've talked about, I, I've backed them a couple of times on this run, talked about, you know, kind of thinking that they were pretty undervalued, specifically before that Lions game that they won. Uh, but now suddenly they're being asked to lay key numbers. Um, and, and I didn't mind it last week against the Cardinals, who I think are you know still the worst team in the league, if not the worst, certainly one of the worst. Uh, but I, I don't think the Bears are, are quite good enough to be laying multiple key numbers to the Falcons. Now, it, it looks like you probably don't have to lay the three and a half or, or, you know, as it stands right now, seeing more, more threes out there. Uh, but I think that there's some, you know, some, maybe some value going against the bears thinking that the market has, has swung too much in their favor here. Um, you know, it's funny because the Falcons lost to the Cardinals earlier this year. But I, I just disagree with the fact that the odds makers are basically saying that those two teams are equal uh, because I just don't think they are. And, and in fact, I think the Falcons would have been a better team this year. They certainly would have been higher in my power ratings personally had Taylor Heineke been the quarterback from the beginning. Um, I've made him a, a minimum of a point better than Ritter um, all season long. And, and, you know, now we've got Taylor Heineke under center. Um, this was a, you know, a scenario, go back to the beginning of the season, where the Falcons were, were more invested in Ritter. Obviously, Ritter has a higher upside, but right now, Taylor Heineke is the better NFL quarterback. I think he's been the best quarterback on this Falcons roster since the beginning of the season. And I think he just gives them a better chance to win on a week-in and week-out basis. Uh, the key is he just doesn't make the mistakes that Ritter makes. We saw last week, he throws for 229 yards and a touchdown in a pretty comfortable win over the Colts. I just think he's more of a pro, and he has the, the ability to execute a game plan a little bit better uh, than Ritter has done this season. Now, the Bears, they're, they're going to benefit here from Fields' ability to run the ball, which is no different than any other week with Justin Fields under center, uh, but that's one area the Falcons have struggled, is you know containing rushing attacks, but specifically containing mobile quarterbacks. So I expect the Bears to be able to move the chains via the run here. But an area that the Falcons are probably better than they've gotten credit for all season has been their defense on a whole. Uh, the pass rush is very good, and they cover opposing receivers well. So while they will give up the run, and they will definitely give up some yards on the ground to the Bears, I don't think they're just going to get torched by this Bears offense because I think they'll be, you know, ready for one or the other, um, whether it be, you know, kind of keying in on, on fields or just, you know, giving fields the, the shorter runs and, and maybe he moves the chains a little bit, uh, but, you know, covering downfield and, and taking away the big play. Either way, I think the Falcons defense is going to keep them in this game. Uh, there was a, a game earlier this year. I had a pretty big bet on the Bears, uh, one that did not cash. Uh, it was against the Chargers. And the biggest takeaway I had from that game and something I came in and, and kind of talked about, you know, in, in relation to Bears and Chargers games after that was sort of what the Chargers did to cover 10 in that game. And essentially, the only thing they did that the Bears just had absolutely no answer to was move everyone to one side of the field, throw a short pass to Austin Eckler and just watch him get first down after first down after big play. And so I'm hoping that last week might be sort of some foreshadowing that the Falcons might be able to do that um, to, to gain the upper hand here. So, you know, Bijan Robinson has been an interesting case this year. Um, we did a show back in August. You can go find it. It, it was a preview show. I know I, I did it with Mark Zeno, one of our uh, my colleagues here at Wager Talk, who is in the Falcons media. He covers this team. Um, in, in the local media down in Atlanta. 
And, you know, he, you know, we both bet the Falcons season win total over, which we still have a chance to hit if they can win these next two games. But one of the big things we, we liked him so much was, you know, Robinson's ability to catch passes out of the backfield and be that dynamic back. And we just haven't seen him be that all the time with Ritter under center. But last week he goes out and catches seven balls for 50 yards. And it makes me think a little bit that maybe it's Ritter that, that was having, you know, a hard time delivering him the ball or getting him the ball or, or game planning around, you know, making Robinson a pass catcher out of the backfield. Then it was, then it is Robinson not being good in that regard because he was fantastic last week. Uh, and, and again, he was, he was great as a pass catcher as well. It goes back to me thinking that Heineke is, is a quarterback where you can give him a, a different game plan and he doesn't need to be protected like Ritter does, who is still a very inexperienced quarterback at this level. Um, we know Heineke had his years and, you know, with, as the commanders, he's kind of a veteran now as far as being a pro is concerned. And I really think that he's going to give the Falcons more flexibility to, to put together a game plan that'll work against this Bears defense. Keep coming back to the number here. I just think that the Bears laying key numbers back to back weeks, of course, it worked out last week against the Cardinals. Uh, it's just a lot to ask. I know the Bears have improved, but they haven't improved this much, in my opinion. And so for that reason, if with the Falcons getting three points, I do like the Falcons plus the number in this game. Head on over to wagertalk.com. And don't forget, use that seven-day coupon code, HOLIDAY7. It's seven days of all access for just $69. Falcons plus three is my free play here. And follow me on Twitter, at TopFlightSI, for a bunch of free plays throughout the rest of the NFL season.